Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this example, and they're trying to use, if I, if I understand them right, they're trying to use like text to path and have a lot of questions. I think they're trying to do this right here. If I'm wrong, they'll let me know. And I would pick better colors, but I was just going off that. <clears throat> the font they use is pretty cool. It is called Funky or Magic Funk. It doesn't work. Uh, when you do something like this, and they had a good question about the Y and the G that are below, uh, you really need to use all caps. So if we go to that magic font, it doesn't have all the letters. Uh, a lot of fonts are like that, or the ones that are made. Um, I mean, it's got a bunch of at signs and just doesn't make any sense. So you need to use a font, and I'm just, I used creepy house that I just got recently and I can't remember I think somebody sent it to me if you'd like it uh, just email me uh, and I'll send you this font It's a pretty cool font but the way to make something like this is to draw a box I don't know how many times I've in my lifetime I've done that with the and and first of all, they sent me really good instructions. I'm a little, I'm still a little bit confused, but I think I've got it. If this is what they're trying to do right here, text to path, you know, just doesn't work, uh, particularly, and then especially without capitals. And this would be a lot easier. If you look, that looks pretty cool. So we're just going to draw a rectangle. Doesn't matter really what size, you can always make it bigger. I am going to get the three-point curve line, and I'm going to just draw a line across, and then I'm going to put a little bit of a curve to it. Now I'm going to take the shape tool. I'm going to add a node. Whoop. Add a node, and I'm going to right-click and turn it into a, well, it's already a curve. I just can't seem to get a node added. And then you could do whatever you want to with this line. You don't want anything too too dramatic or too uh, too much of a of a uh, curve, but once you've got that line, you can Control D and duplicate it. Hold down the Control button, and you'll get that same line. And you could, you know, get them perfectly across there or evenly. But it, you know, you're this is something you're making, so it doesn't really matter, you know, how it it's going to be yours. So now we need to, these are different lines, so we need to take the Smart Fill tool. Doesn't matter what color, I'm gonna use a brighter color just for the video. And um, let's use red. I'm gonna fill that in, and I'm gonna nudge it up. First of all, I'm gonna change my nudge factor to bigger, to like seven. I did, I did uh, change your duplicate distance to zero, zero. In this particular video, we won't use it. But I'm gonna fill that in, fill that in, fill that in. And what that did, that gave me three or yeah, three different sections. They're you know, they're complete sections. But now we don't want them touching each other. So we need to go to the uh, effects and contour, and we're gonna contour the inside just like 0 0.05 and hit apply. And then grab that one, hit apply. That one, hit apply. Now, uh, probably the easiest thing to do is just to select all of them. Let me zoom in here. Select all of them and go up to object and break the six objects apart and then take your inside object and nudge it over. And you can see where it's created different lines. Now, when you're using the envelope tool to put these in there, if it doesn't work the first time, try something else. So we're going to grab the Happy Thanksgiving and we're going to put it in here. So we're going to go to Effects and Envelope, and it normally is going to come up with Putty. And then you're going to go Create from Envelope Form and go in there. And that really worked this time. If it doesn't work, you can go to Vertical. And see, it's almost the same in this case. Now, to, we're going to do all three of them, and then we'll do uh, put them in there. So I, I clicked on the text. 
I'm going to go right here and then put it in that box. And then I'm going to click on that text. Let me move it out of the way. Go right here to create envelope form and put it in there. Now, all you have to do to put them together is select that one, hold down the shift, select that one and go EC. Select that, select the box, EC. You want to select your text first. If you, tech, if you do the box first and then that, the EC is going to move it over there. And, we don't, and that would actually work because we could nudge it, but not really because we moved it, if you remember. So you've got to do the last thing that you want the thing to move to would be your last pick. So I'm going to pick the text first, then that, and go EC. And then we're just going to delete the box and delete the boxes. And you have that text. Now, you could color them in. You know, make whatever color you want. Um, you know, you, you could do a lot. You know, you could probably take this. Let's just play with it. Um, you know, you might want to use a more, maybe a holiday color or something. But then we could grab the interactive filter. And I'm just, I'm going way past here. And you know what? They're kind of still, maybe I had them, maybe I selected them all. I only want that one selected. Interactive fill tool. And then let's put a, a darker color on this end. See, and you could change the letters. You could fill them in individually. Let's just play with this. Now, because we have that, let's try the attribute eyedropper, see if it works in this case. No, it's going to change the size because it's, it's actually changing the whole thing. So you could always, if you wanted that same deal, I'd actually reverse it. You could actually go to edit and or, or view. No, it's under edit and copy properties from. So you need to have it selected. View. No edit. Edit copy properties from the fill, and then you could put it in there, and you'd get the same thing. But we're going to reverse this and take that one. And I'm just playing here and giving them some idea. This time I'm going to go this direction and I'm going to put that dark color on the Mary. Now, if you want the individual letters uh, changed, it's a little bit harder because you can't really break it apart because the envelope tool has taken over. But what you can do if you want individual different words to be different letters, we can left click, right click in black or whatever color. And let's bring... Let's bring this one over closer. So you could do individual words. So with your uh, smart fill tool, take the eyedropper and let's go right to that maroon text and then just fill it in uh, with uh, that dull maroon and then get the eyedropper. Let's, let's get a brighter color, that yellow or that year. I'm doing it different than I did before. Now, the only thing you want to do when you're done with this is you want to take away the outline. Let's make the, let's just make it a standard color on the year. Now, what I said about take away the outline, if you select it all and right click no outline, it'll make it look like that. Now, let's see how it looks with a black box around it. Make a box, make it black, object, order, back a page. And it really makes it stand out. I'm truly hoping that's what they were wanting. Uh, I was a little bit confused, even though they gave, they gave me, they I love it because they gave me the, the font. I didn't have it. I went to DA Fonts and got it. It was on DA Fonts right there and I just installed it. And... It's a, um, now let's see if I can find that. Working on too many things. And, uh, you know, they told me everything they did and, and, you know, they're trying to nest it together. Well, this would be the best way to nest it together. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.